Adam, thank you very much. We're pleased to be joined by Senator Ron Wyden, live in studio with us. Senator, good to see you again. How thank are you, you today? Thank you, Craig. Well, let's start with uh, something we're just learning uh, now. Uh, Israel rejecting Secretary of State John Kerry's ceasefire plan, violence now escalating. What's happening there? What, what are your thoughts? We still have to find a way to get both sides to talk. And I can tell you, since I serve on the Intelligence Committee, not getting into anything, a classified, it is critically important that this be done quickly. We know what the long-term solution here is, and that is a two-state solution that ensures that there is mutual respect and opportunities for both sides to exist and, and exist peacefully. But you have to, in effect, get a berth, a kind of window where you can have the kinds of talks that will lead to that, so we're just going to have to stay at it. We're all, of course, horrified by last week's plane crash in, in the Ukraine. Uh, do you believe Russian separatists were involved? And if so, what should we be doing about it? Well, for, first of all, I, I think it is clear that Mr. Putin can really make a difference right now. And if he is not willing to step in and take the uh, actions that are going to show that this kind of aggression is not going to happen again, it is time for the Europeans to join us in significantly tougher sanctions. They haven't been willing to do that in the past, but that's the one thing Mr. Putin's going to pay attention to. Yeah, Hillary Clinton said today that Putin bears responsibility uh, for this, and, and certainly with his involvement with the separatists, he could have stopped it perhaps. Um, should, we be, uh, should we be looking at something in D.C. Uh, towards that end? The, the administration has the opportunity. I mean, you cannot have 535 uh, members of Congress, in, in effect, trying to... Um, negotiate uh, with Mr. Putin, but it's clear that the administration has got to push the Europeans very hard because uh, Mr. Putin's economy, and it's not going very well there uh, right now, depends on his relationships with the Europeans, and we need to push the Europeans to act. Okay. Uh, President Obama, according to a new CNN poll, has a pr approval rating of just 42 percent. Any concern that that could hurt Democrats at this fall's uh, election? Well, a approval ratings go, go up and down, Craig. I, I think what people are paying attention to, and I've been having town meetings and know I'm going to hear uh, uh, viewpoints from Oregonians uh, again this weekend, is that wages just aren't keeping up. In other words, people aren't making enough so they can buy a new home and, and uh, uh, really feel like they're getting ahead. That's one of the reasons why I'm concentrating on matters like tax reform and trying to, uh, to get real relief that targets the middle class. This week we're going to try and uh, reauthorize the transportation bill for a relatively short time and move on to a long uh, term transportation bill because transportation is a big economic multiplier. You get wages for the people who do the work, the construction companies, the restaurants who uh, uh, assist the workers. We, we need to get the wages up. All right, very good. Well, we have plenty to talk about locally here as well. We'll do that right after this quick break. Stay with us. Welcome back to our 5 on 5. Again, we're here with Senator Ron Wyden. Senator, today you participated in a sex trafficking roundtable. It's a big problem here in Oregon. What do you hope to, what solutions are you looking to find? Well, for, first of all, what I wanted to do is listen to folks uh, because a lot of people back east think that this is just a problem in the metropolitan areas. And the reality is that this is hitting small communities, small southern Oregon communities, very hard. And it really is just a moral blot uh, on our a state when you have young girls exploited by these pimps and, and, uh, and Johns taking advantage of them. And the internet, of course, has given them a new measure of anonymity. And I've been a leader in getting legislation uh, passed, and we're going to have another bill that we think will pass this upcoming week that will help particularly the young women in these uh, child welfare programs. So often they feel nobody cares about them, there's no semblance of normal life there, and what we're trying to do is shore up those uh, programs, create incentives for adoption and guardianship programs, and my hope is we can get that passed in the Senate this upcoming week. Mm -hmm. And it's incredibly dry outside. We've already seen some very large fires this week in Oregon. Uh, you're trying to get more funding for Oregon uh, wildfire Yeah, fires? I just met with uh, folks at the Forest Service and BLM. We've got uh, a supplemental appropriations bill coming up this week to try to get additional funds to fight the fires. And also Senator Mike Crapo, he's the Republican senator from Idaho, he and I are trying to deal with what I think is a very serious problem, and that is you don't have enough prevention 
And then the bureaucracy, in effect, when they have a big inferno, they go out and take money from the prevention fund to put out the inferno, and the problem gets worse. And what C Senator Crapo and I are saying with a big bipartisan group of our colleagues for, is for the major fires, let's treat them like the disasters that they are. And I think we'll see action on that in the Senate this week, too. Very good, Senator. Great to see you again. Thanks, Thanks for so having me. Coming. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs>